We all have to use SSL nowadays, which means deploying digital certificates. You can create your own certificates, but while those may be fine for your internal systems, they won't be good enough for the outside world. No one else is going to trust your own certificates. So you usually need to deploy certificates issued by a certificate authority that everyone trusts. I'm going to walk through a very common requirement that can be a bit awkward the first time you try it. Configuring an Apache web server for SSL on an Oracle OCI compute instance running Oracle Linux. And I'll include demonstrating the demonstration of obtaining and deploying a digital certificate from Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt issues certificates free of charge, unlike most other trusted authorities. My starting point is that I have an internet facing compute instance, which is running. I have a domain name registered and I have a DNS record pointing that domain to the compute instance's public IP. For a production system, the compute instance will be on a private subnet accessed through a load balancer, but that's something we'll configure at a later stage. Now, this is my compute instance, JW Cert Demo. It's just a micro built off the standard Oracle Linux 8 image. And there's its public IP address, 150.136.55.179. Now, my domain is jw-cert-demo.skillbuilders.com, and NS lookup on that tells me that the address is indeed 150.136.55.179. So, we should be good to proceed with the demonstration. The Oracle supplied images don't have all the necessary software. I'll need the extra packages for Enterprise Linux. I'll need the Apache HTTPD server. And I'll need the CertBot utility that works with Let's Encrypt. In this SSH shell, I'll do the installations. So as root, First, the extra packages for Enterprise Linux with DNF install, EPEL release. That appears to be there already, but just to make sure, let's check the latest from Red Hat. Then I'll need Apache itself, HTTPD, and also mod SSL, the Apache module that lets Apache use HTTPS. And lastly, CertBot with the CertBot module that lets module that lets CertBot work with Apache. And just to be sure, I'll make sure I've got the latest open SSL. And our better 
create an index HTML file to be served out. Just a simple hello world. And that will be in the var www HTML directory. Apache will need some configuration, but not much. I have to create two virtual hosts, a virtual host for HTTP on port 80 and another on HTTPS for HTTPS on port 443. To create the port 80 virtual host, I edit httpd.conf and down the bottom of the file, I'll define my virtual host like this. So all this virtual host is doing is responding to the server name, jwcertdemo.skillbuilders.com, and every URL that hits this port will be redirected, will generate a redirection using the simple regular expression that gets sent back to the browser saying, come back in, but this time using that protocol on that port. For the 443 virtual host, I edit the SSL configuration file, and the virtual host is already there, so all I need to do is specify the server name. Then check the syntax httpd minus t looks good. Bounce the server, which is automatically registered as a systemd service. And the moment of truth. See if it actually works. So I'm going in with http on port 80. And it's looking good so far. We've got the redirection to HTTPS. Of course, we're getting a warning because the certificate isn't valid. Why is it not valid? Because it hasn't been issued by a trusted authority. But if we live dangerously and proceed, there's my index HTML. So it's all working, but with a self-signed certificate. So now the final step is to obtain and deploy a certificate from a trusted authority. Like many people, I have an aversion to paying for things that I can get for free, which is why I'm using Let's Encrypt. Working with Let's Encrypt certificates used to be quite a tortuous process, but now it's trivial and can be completely automatic. So working from the machine to which the certificate will be deployed, certbot minus minus Apache. Give us an email address to associate with the certificate. And I shall use my own. Answer yes to a couple of questions. And the tool has gone to the HTTP configuration files and detected the serve name I'm going to use. And that's fine. That's the name for which I want the certificate to be issued. It's requesting the certificate from Let's Encrypt right now. And that's it. The certificate has come and has been saved with appropriate permissions there. There's my private key there. And it will have edited the ssl.com file to point to those certificates. Then bounce the Apache.
And let's try again. So again, I'll go into the website with HTTP. And this time, straight through, no warnings. To conclude, virtually all internet-facing websites will need to use HTTPS. And configuring that can be awkward and expensive. However, as you've seen, Let's Encrypt is fully functional and it's free. And the automation tools are now pretty good. The next steps will be to place load balancers and perhaps a web application firewall in front of the web server machine, and then to automate the certificate renewals. We'll perhaps look at that next time. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.